Are you guys inspired? Are you motivated? I am. Um, so, uh, our next speaker is um, Joyita Ray, I believe. Hi. Um, um, so Joyita Ray is uh, the NCM Collective Convener, Mentor and Social Media Manager. She has uh, over two decades of advertising and journalism experience in seven countries, including reporting for new Canadian media. She's also a big deal in this industry. <laughs> Hi, Joyita. Hi, my name is Joyita. As she said, I'm a marketer. I have a journalism background. I have lots of different backgrounds, actually. NCM Convener is like one of them. So this is NCM. You can see a team over here. This was taken last year in the Fake versus Fact workshop. And you can see the diversity over here as well. These are all our people over here. Nanny, she's been with me right from the beginning, from 2015. We joined up both of us together. And look at all of this. Look at the dynamism, look at the age groups. You have students with us, you have experienced, established journalists with us. It's just very fantastic. And the same diversity you can see reflected over here, isn't it? And how rare is that? All of you have so many diverse opinions between you so many diverse perspectives, global perspectives, right? Many of which comes from first-hand experience, from the countries that you've lived in. But there's one thing that connects all of us together, despite all the diversity, it's courage. It takes a huge amount of courage to leave everything behind you, to start life afresh. How many people can do that, isn't it? And it takes a huge amount of courage to be a journalist. This is why we need your voices. We need your views to value add to Canadian journalism. Canada is so multicultural these days, but then how much of multiculturalism do you see in the workforce? Through NCM, we have had a lot of different experiences which have integrated us into this country, right? One of this was a CBC newsroom tour, which is like normally very difficult to enter. And all of us learn different aspects of journalism because although like most of us have a writing background, we have different kinds of writing backgrounds between us. And NCM is very different from there because NCM is a voice of not just Canadians, but then immigrants as well. Right? We come from both the worlds, which is like so rare. We have ethnic media over here, which helps us integrate. And we tend to come into the country and settle into our silos. And ethnic media helps us, you know, become more comfortable over here. And you have mainstream media as well, but there's no one over here to reflect our voices. Somewhere in between, we are all lost. So thanks to all of these mentorship workshops through New Canadian Media, we've had a lot of beautiful experiences that helped us feel equalized with the rest of the communities. That's Nanny again. I think we both have been entering all the workshops. But this is also very important. It is very important for all of you to be with us and to join all these activities because this collaboration is what is needed to make NCM stronger and to make immigration, immigrant voices stronger. This was the NCM Walrus workshop held in Ottawa just a couple of weeks back. You can see the same diversity reflected over there as well, isn't it? It's like completely unifying and this is the new Canada that we don't get to see everywhere. And we've had people coming from all the way from PEI as well. I mean, not just from Ottawa. We had somebody called Jessie Zeng who came all the way from Charlottetown. She flew down to attend the workshop and she'd been over here just for two months. And she's been writing with us. She's had a couple of features published with us. Her English skills may not be that immaculate, like many of you over here, but this is why we have the mentorship programs. We pair up with different people. We help you basically cultivate your voice. 
I've had a few mentorship programs here as well. I entered through one, and my background is quite interesting, actually. I came in 2013 from Bangkok. I left my country, India, I'm from India. We left, I think, around, what, 28 years back now. And we've been living in different countries in Southeast Asia, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Jakarta, lots, Bangkok. So I had a feeling that I have known different demographics, having worked with different companies in advertising and in journalism. Yet, even then, when I came over here, I saw how different it was because the diversity is like far, far more than we ever expected and from what we find elsewhere, isn't it? And it's very difficult to find a voice that connects with everyone. And this is why we have a company like New Canadian Media, where we can all come together and come to know a new country, come to know each other, come to know the mainstream media people as well. It's so important. These were some of our guest speakers from CBC, from Algonquin College. Okay, courage, global perspectives, first-hand experience, diverse viewpoints. All of this diversity drives new ideas and fosters growth. Yet, Canada is looking for Canadian experience. Yeah. How ironical is that? It's completely crazy, isn't it? See, the basic thing is this, this world is very integrated these days. We can't be sitting isolated. What's happening in one part of the world is affecting the other. Whether it's a war, whether it's elections in one part of the world that's affecting trade policies and travel, whether it's coronavirus, you know, which is like spreading like wildfire everywhere, whether it's global warming, everything's connecting each of us together. So the country cannot afford to be sitting isolated and look for Canadian experience. I think we should be looking for experienced Canadians instead, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> NCM was born from an immigrant viewpoint. The whole idea was to basically get together and share ideas, train writers and journalists to meet the needs of the Canadian audience and the media. Networking opportunity, we're like all over here together, meeting each other, greeting each other, getting together. And the interesting part is, I mean, we do have different writing backgrounds, but not everything is relevant. Some of us have been bloggers. Some of us have been news reporters on television. Some of us have been news reporters on radio, which is a completely different ball game. For me, I've come from a print media, okay? prehistoric days. <laughs> I used to be the editor of a magazine in Bangkok. And I also have print um, and television, radio experience in advertising. When I came over here, I realized there is no magazine. It's obsolete. And I suddenly was completely lost. So where do I start? It's very difficult to get into mainstream advertising. Ethnic marketing is coming in, but it takes a while to basically get to know different diverse demographics as well. It's like not just one demographic over here, right? So where do you start? That's when I got into digital marketing. I, it's never too late to like start, start learning. I joined up this college called George Brown, and I got into digital marketing, social media marketing, SEO. All of this helped me write for new Canadian media. Because the skills never really go to waste. Whatever you come with from your home country, everything is required, everything is you know, you can put it to good use over here, but you also need to build new skills that fit into this market. That's so important. So what happened was, when I was writing, I was comfortable on digital media, I was comfortable writing, and yet I thought there was something missing. When I got into the mentoring program, I realized what was missing. You have to come out of your own silos. You know, it's very easy to come over here and to sit with your own silos, the South Asian communities and the Chinese communities who sit in Markham, I'm sitting in Mississauga, close to Brampton, Scarborough, whatever. But unless you come and expand your world, you cannot expand your views, you cannot expand your vision. It's so important. And when I was researching for my articles, I found a way to come out of my comfort zone, connect with different communities, find out different viewpoints which 
value added to my work. And suddenly I realized the importance. And you will too when you come over here. Integration, so important. So the transition from print to digital is very, very important, which is of course there in the mentorship program, connecting to other communities, connecting to CBC, connecting to Brent Jolly from National News Media Council. It was huge, it was fantastic meeting up with him. Thanks to NCM, we got the opportunity. He thought us out of pitching, which is like so important because many of us have been writing for so many different forums, but then pitching something that is like not very common everywhere, right? Over here, it's very important. You have to have a focused perspective. Unless you have a focused perspective, it's difficult to focus your writing. Sometimes pitching is even more difficult than your write-up itself, isn't it? So you will be thought that of pitching over here as well. We also have the Canadian Association of Journalists, who we are associated with. Till March 31st, membership with New Canadian Media is free. So do tell your friends, journalist friends, do sign up if you haven't already. Be connected with us on social media. It's so important to be connected on social media because this is where you collaborate together, you help each other grow. When you comment on other people's articles, you get a perspective. When they read your articles, they get your perspective. And that is extremely important for engagement and to take your write-ups further on digital marketing. As you very well know, print magazines are very different, right? You have so many issues, a fixed number of issues in circulation. It's going to a certain distributorship. Digital marketing works very differently. So you can have a fantastic article. If you don't know how to utilize social media or digital forums, your article will be visible only to you and your family or your friends. You have to get together, promote each other, and be collaborative. I would like to thank a lot of people over here for making this NCM The Walrus workshop successful. Mohammed, Hamoud, where are you? I can't see you. Oh, there you are. Thank you so much for everything. Jagdish Man, he's manning everything in Vancouver for us. That's going to be a completely different team. Brent Jolly, of course. Thank you so much for your views, for your partnership. Marcus Medford, he's not over here, but he has been with us right since the beginning. He's also a mentor with us. Abhijit Ray, that's my husband back there, where is he? He's over there taking my photograph. <laughs> and uh, he has been actually responsible for connecting us with ethnic media groups. And of course, our visionary leader and guide, George Abraham. George was supposed to be with us today, actually, but unfortunately, there was a death in his family. He had to rush back. So thank you, George. I'm sure you are over here in spirit watching us through this webinar. Feel free to get in touch with him. He's very, very accessible and he's wonderful. He's like a minefield of knowledge, like all of you over here are really. Each of you have this wealth of information within you. You come from these countries with first-hand experience, which makes you so unique, isn't it? It's like not just capturing the voices. You are the voice. You have the vision. You have the experience and we need to hear your perspectives because visible minorities need to be visible. You can't be invisible sitting in a corner there. And you also speak languages beyond French and English. So you're able to capture the real voice of multicultural Canada, which is so important for the growth of Canada. So enjoy the workshop, share your experience on social media, contact me to join up with the collective. And before I leave, I would like to say one thing and do remember this. You may not have been part of Canada's past, but you and your children are Canada's future. Thank you.